When your green card petition is in the queue to become a permanent resident of United States, every month's visa bulletin announcement is important in this regard. Few weeks ago, we have seen a big update on EB3 retrogression, which has taken the final action date to almost three years back. In this video, we will understand the reasons behind the EB3 retrogression, when this retrogression will come back to as it was June 2023 visa bulletin. This is as a certain feature and video questions to see how best we can help you out your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now let's continue to watch the video and find out what's new in U.S. immigration. Why did the Department of State retrogress the India EB-3 final action date in the July 2023 visa bulletin? The Department of State is responsible for enforcing the annual limits on visa use established by Congress. As the Department explains when setting a final action date in the visa bulletin, the demand for visas by applicants in an immigrant visa category chargeable to a particular country is compared to the visas remaining for that country in the current fiscal year. If the demand for visas in a category exceeds the supply of available numbers, the department establishes a final action date which is the priority date of the first applicant for whom a visa number could not be allocated. In the case of India EB3 visas for July 2023, no visas remain available for applicants chargeable to India in this category because by the start of July, it is estimated that all of the EB3 visa numbers available for the fiscal year will have already been used by applicants chargeable to India. Therefore, the final action date for India is one day before the priority date of the first Indian applicant estimated to apply for an EB3 visa. When will the final action date for India EB3 advance, or return to where it was in June? The annual limits will reset with the start of the new fiscal year, on October 1, 2023. The EB3 final action date for India is expected to advance once the annual limits reset in fiscal year 2024. However, the movement of this date throughout the fiscal year depends on various factors such as visa demand and the employment-based annual limit, which at this time is projected to be substantially lower than in FY23. Have these types of retrogressions, due to all visas being used, happened in the past? Yes, this has occurred with regularity for oversubscribed countries in employment-based categories, particularly as the annual limits were lower in pre-pandemic years. Recent examples include the Visa Bulletin for June 2023, July 2019, June 2019, August 2018, and April 2018. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people we want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!